Hey everybody, how are we doing today? It is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020, and Tuesday means Modern League. We've got a big dump today with 71 decks in it, so let's get rolling. First off, we have kind of a spicy Golos Valakut brew with no Titans in it. Um... I've never seen... i got to admit, I've never seen a deck like this. Uh, this is all about getting those lands... We've got 25 lands. Dryad, Golos, Excavator, Grazer, Uro, Tamio to get things back out of the graveyard. This is an interesting little recursion deck. Uh, sort of not landfall, landfall uh, with Golos to cast stuff. This is... This looks kind of interesting. Um, might want to... Goldfish just a little bit, play it out, see what it plays like. I haven't seen anything like this. This is cool. Nice uh, Soimba Airwave. I, I like what you got there. Chuckling Chuck with Bogles. It's always around. Every now and then it pops up. Uh, Serox with. Wow. How this is? How much land hate can you do? Uh, I think we saw this deck last week. I don't remember if there are ghostly prisons in it, but this is Boom Bust, Crack the Earth, Molten Rain, Pillage, Mana Tithe, just in case they actually try to cast something, Greater Gargadon to sack your stuff. The only thing it's missing is uh, Restore Balance, really. Uh, yeah, this is this is quite the quite the uh, aggressively angry anti-land brew. Zoer, Zoer, with um, Prowess, Mono Red Prowess, it looks like. Reveler, Bone Crusher, Swift Spear, Steamkin, Soul Scar Mage. Yep. Uh, get you dead. Matsugan with Neobrand. And that's Neobrand. Alex JJ, we've got. Uh, what's this? A little. We blue white. Blue White Control, yeah. Treat the Angels, haven't seen that played that much recently. Couple, couple of Miracles cards here. Terminus as well. Um, little surprising that Terminus is the only sweeper in the deck. But uh, yeah, so Alex JJ with a Blue White Control here. Live 99013 with Tron. Pretty straightforward Tron. Seeing Kozilek a little bit more uh, in these, as opposed to you know, instead of a third Ulamog or a third Ballista, um, or even a fourth Worm Coil engine. Frankly, I've seen four frequently, but good old Tron. Crazy Clicker with is this junk? No, this is black white. Uh, kind of a. Just kind of a black-white tokens deck. It's yeah, holy crap! This is black-white tokens. This was the f uh, if you guys remember the old modern event deck. Um, yeah, that was a black-white tokens deck. I have not seen this in forever. Wow, way to bring back an oldie but a goodie, Crazy Clicker. Nice Manu Chow with the new Gruel Aggro. That's sort of. Not quite Ponza. Um, it's basically got some of the same creature threats that you'll see in a Ponza deck, but it's cutting down a bit on the land hate. Um, but it's still got the Utopia Sprawl Arbor Elf to ramp out stuff. Pillage instead of uh, Stone Rain or Molten Rain to uh, take out the lands. But it's uh, it's got its roots in, in Ponza. More so with Bant Spirits. Blue White Spirits. Yep, no Cocos or anything like that. So Blue White Spirits here. Um, nothing too surprising. Three Aether Vials instead of four. That might be a little, little different. But uh, yeah, Blue White Spirits. If you want your tempo, creature based control deck. There you go. John with Sahili. This is Jeskai Sahili. For Omen of the Sea, it's basically preordained, just costs a little more. Yep, that's it. Shock Troopa with Glittering Wish, Boom Bust, 
This Naya Stone Blade. Naya Stone Blade. Yep. Cool. Boom Bust is an interesting choice there. Yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, Death, Death and Cat Mix is playing Death and Taxes. I think we ran into this person last week as well. Um, yeah, playing the same deck, Death and Taxes. Hanged Executioner. Exiles Creatures. Nice. Uh, predicted with Yogmoth Combo. This has really fallen off the map. Uh, haven't seen it in the preliminaries. Uh, I think losing Once Upon a Time really hurt this deck, so it's good to see it come back with a 5-0. Uh, clever deck. Um, Aaron Barich made it uh, pretty popular with her uh, Star City run with it. I think she won the tournament with it. I can't remember, but definitely finished highly. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dogmoth combo there. Ak S with looks like is this Jun Shadow or is this just Black Red? Sh no, this is Mardu Shadow. Okay. Um, Jund and Four Color Shadow have kind of become the more popular or the more successful bil builds, but Mardu is definitely an option. Teston with Wurza. Is this this is Grixis Wurza? Nope, this is Jeskai Wurza. I can't say I've seen Jeskai Wurza, or is this four color? We got blue, white, red. No, nope, this is Jeskai Wurza. Interesting tweak. Might be worth a look. And Thopter Sword, of course, is the win con. Nikachu. Oh gee, it's Merfolk. What a surprise. The uh, leading Merfolk player here with uh, his current take on the archetype so uh if you are a fan of the folk always i'm sure you're already following nikachu and you're keeping track of what he's doing but here's a look for the rest of us ryuji 89 with naya zu declaration in stone that's an interesting choice blood braid bone crusher knight of autumn you got your knight of reliquary kessig wolf run Yep, Nyazu deck. Bazaar Mati with uh, Amulet Titan. Always uh, interesting to see what's going on with this deck. Take a look at it if you're into that sort of thing. Compare it to some of the prior builds and see if you've got some new options here. Wonder Girl with another, looks like, Gruel Aggro deck. We've got Chandra, we've got Domri, and we've got a bunch of... Oh, this is Red Green Eldrazi, which had its heyday two years ago or so. Um, yeah, can always sneak up on you. It, it is a good, strong, aggressive deck. Evan M13 with... This is Ponza. All right, now we've got the seven um, land hate cards. We've got four Blood Moon in the main. Uh, here's your Ponza deck right here. So you can see how this is slightly different than the Gruel Monsters deck we saw earlier that had Ponza roots. This one is your Ponza deck. Phaerox with, uh, looks like Jun, uh, Jun Shadow. Yep, Jun Shadow. This, so as I mentioned earlier, when the Mardu Shadow deck came up, this has become kind of the more popular build right now. Uh, I think people are liking the crash throughs for whatever reason. And then Dreadhorde Arcanist around to uh, recast things. Tarmogoyf, because you're going to put a lot of things in the yard, as are they. Uh, Fanny Fane. Fanny Fane? With... Smallpox. Black, red, smallpox. Yep. Kill their stuff. Have stuff hang around. And beat them with board presents. Um... Aaron, this deck is for you. Might be worth taking a look. Eros199423, and that probably means something in Elite Speak, and I have no idea, because I'm old and I don't know these things. Uh, Blue-White Control? Yep. Good old Blue-White Control. Only creatures are four Snapcasters. 
Uh, Sanos Goblins. Anything cool in this one? One Krenko. Four Frog Tossers. Uh, good old good old goblins. Jim Davis is kind of the, the king of this archetype. He's got a couple of articles from back right after Modern Horizons came out with um, some goblin builds and, and approaches to the metagame. Probably hasn't changed much. Uh, worth taking a look if you like this sort of thing. This is a fun deck to play. It really surprises people with what you can do with it. Very versatile. Uh, SS Karm with this is just a blue-green Titan Shift deck. And there's no Titans, though. Well, Uro is your Titan, not Primeval Titan. So this is blue-green Valakut. Uh, or Teamer, I guess. Is this... I guess. Okay, let me amend myself here. This is Rug Scape Shift. And it's not playing Primeval Titan. And that's a surprise to me. Um, but there you go. Uh, is that saying how good Uro is? It might be. Uh, Spencer, here you go. I know this was your deck forever. Uh, this is what it looks like now. Trellon with... Uh, okay, this is an interesting take on Tron. This is... Is this Colorless Eldrazi? Yes, it is. Um, I'm not going to call this Eldrazi Tron because this is not the same threat profile that Eldrazi Tron has. Um, what I'm not seeing in here that uh, I thought Serum Powder would be part of this. Um, there's only a Chalice in the side, but you've, this is a Karn, this is Karn deck through and through. And if they exile your all Eldrazi's, you go get them back. This is a very interesting build. Interesting take on, on Eldrazi Tron. If so Eldrazi Tron kind of gets sniffed at by some of the better pros because it, you know, it's not a real deck. Well, it is. It keeps putting up results. Um, but a lot of people don't like playing Chalice for one reason or another. Um, you know, not your style, that kind of thing. Uh, here's an interesting take uh, that's Chalice, almost Chalice free. There's just the one on the side that you search up with Karn if you need it. Interesting. There's some good good, uh, spicy stuff in today's dump. Uh, we've got another Merfolk build here from Drakenar. This one is Tropical Merfolk. It's got blue and green. Um, yeah, here's here's another Merfolk take for you if you want uh, a slightly different approach. Trader 0811 111 with Hollow One. I love Hollow One. I love that deck. Flamelink Phoenix Ox is helping here. Storm Herald. What are we getting out with Storm Herald? Eldrazi Conscription. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, fun deck. Storm Storm Herald gets auras out of the uh, graveyard for a one-time shot, then they get exiled later. So if you discard them to your uh, Burning Inquiries or your Goblin Lores, yeah. So this is updated modern Hollow One on what it's doing now. We're, we've given up on the Vengevine plan. Uh, Yanti with humans. Any interesting tweaks here? One Keswick Malcontents main. Two Charming Prince main. Unsettled Mariner. Uh, kind of gone three ofs on a lot of the cards that used to be four ofs to fit stuff in. So, uh, a Gaddick Teague in the side because you need it. Uh, yeah, nice Yanti. I like it. Human, humans is a good deck. We've played that one quite a bit. Here is a more traditional Eldrazi Tron build. With Chalice of the Void's main, um, Ugin, Walking Ballista. Yeah, this is your more traditional Eldrazi Tron build. Uh, the Mad Doll Maker. Nice handle. I like that. What do we got here? We've got uh, Eldrazi and Taxes. Yep. Black, White, Eldrazi, and Taxes. Resource. Denial or taxing effects and uh, Eldrazi Displacer to uh, rebuy your Tide Hollow Skullers and Thought Not Seers. It's, uh, yeah. Tried this a little bit. Difficult deck to play, but uh, definitely some uh, aficionados of this style. Pulpo87 with Jund. Uh, no Croxa in this build. 
this looks to be a little I mean as much as you can say a budget build of Jun when you've got Liliana and Ren yeah it's not a budget build never mind ignore that um, but it's a little different take uh, the threat pattern is definitely different here Bloodbraid is going into either hand denial or another threat a removal if well you can cast that either way right that's kind of that's the nice thing about the adventure cards with Bloodbraid Elf is uh, the flexibility and how you cast them. Nuclear Rabbit with Burn. Good old Burn. Uh, this is on the mono red variety. Uh, there's no Boros charm in here. But yeah, mono red Burn. I guess, is this mono red prowess? Yeah, they're so close in what the decks are. Four Lava Dark. Yeah, Mono Red Prowess instead of Burn. Let's call it that way. Floor Flower with uh, Tribal Zoo. Um, wow, we're pulling out all the oldies today. Black White Tokens, Tribal Zoo. I feel like it's 2014. Delatar with... This is Grixis Shadow. Yep. So here's your traditional Grixis Shadow build. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything unusual in it at all. The Afterman with another Taxes build. This one is green-white. Mostly on the white side. Um, but it is running Stoneblade. So, uh, yeah. So here's a, here's a stone a, uh, aggressive Stoneblade deck for you. Emerald Loot with uh, Ad Nauseam. Yep. Uh, Long-standing, always around the fringes combo deck. Um, updated for the modern day. Running Thassa's Oracle now instead of um, Lab Maniac like it used to sometimes. Uh, the Pen Sword with uh, Blue-Red Control. Yep. The only game day I ever won was Amonkhet game day. I think it was Amonkhet or was it our... Whichever one the deem-worthy playmat you got from. I think that was Amonkhet. Um, I played blue-red control with uh, Torrential Gear Hooks as the win con. And uh, yeah, that, that was a fun time. Good, good archetype. Elementals. Five curl elementals. Tarask. Nice. I like it. Uh, have not... We have all the cards for this deck. I've not been able to play it in paper. And, of course, it's going to be at least a month and a half until I get to. Um, but, uh, yeah, this this is it's a tricky little deck to play. But uh, I want to play it. It's all, it looks like fun. I'm, I'm, I love creature-based strategies. You, you guys should know that of me by now. Uh, what do we got here? We've got Teamer Snow. Teamer Snow Control. We've got Breaches? What do we got? Yeah, oh, Teamer Breach. Okay. Teamer Snow Breach. Uro Breach. Um, it's an update to the Is It Breach deck. Splashing Green for Uro and Coatl. And other than that, um, we've got some Scred in here for removal. Yeah. So here's a uh, I Want to Cheat Emrakul into play deck for you. Will Pulliam with... Uh, Titan Field? Yeah. This is Titan Field. It's not Amulet Titan. It's not Scape Shift. This is Titan Field. We do have Valakuts in here. Uh, main deck is Mono Green. And you're just trying to ramp out all the lands you can. 30 lands in the deck. Jameson Purdue with... So I've been... I don't know what to call this deck. I've, I saw it in the preliminaries. And... and uh, I called it, what, a four-color walker control or something like that. Um, so we've got Ashiok, Dovin, Jace, Karn, Narset, Teferi, and Renin Six. So we're definitely four-color, right? Blue, white, red, green. Um, Simeon Spirit Guide to help ramp some, some of this stuff out. Birds and Arbor Elf and Utopia Sprawl. Um, your Karn... Wish package in the side. This is kind of a walker control deck. 
um, it's definitely interesting. A, a very different take on control. Um, I bet the I bet no games ever play the same. This this deck would be quite something here. Koki twelve with a stone blade. What do we have? what do we here? Blue white stone blade. Yep, blue white stone blade. Sort of control, but with a uh, batter skull finish. Got a geist in there, just in case uh, it's useful if they don't have very many creatures. Phantasmal bear is not playing spirits. He's playing scape shift. No, he's not. What is what is this? This is a scape shift deck. Is this rug shift? Yeah, rug scape shift or teamer shift, whatever we want to call it. No creatures. So. Um, this is killing you with Valakut, or it's not killing you at all. Um, I guess it could Cryptic san Sanctuary Cryptic lock you. Mystic Command lock, whatever they're calling it these days. Um, but yeah, there's, there's creatures in the side, right? Because they're going to side out all the removal. So that's when you bring in the Inferno Titans, and the Thrag Tusks, and the Uros, and the, and the Vidalian Clicks. But, uh, and Thrun even. Wow, haven't seen Throne in a while. Uh, yeah, th this is transformational sideboard kind of stuff here. Screenwriter New York with a Naya Zoo deck. Uh, yeah, just another Naya Zoo deck. Tarfire for the Tarmogoyfs. Get that tribal type in your graveyard. Um, yep, Naya Zoo. Amazing 83 with black white stone blade jund no i'm sorry junk junk stone blade or obzon blade i got to say this is the first time i think i have seen a junk deck playing stoneforge mystic something worth a try something worth a try definitely mlupa mlupa with uh, Bant Snow Control. So, uh, oh no, this is Teamer Snow. Teamer Snow. Sorry. Scred. Similar to what we saw above, I think the one we saw earlier had Stone... No, it didn't have Stone Blade in it. Yeah, Teamer Snow. Um, not colors normally associated with control decks, but there you go. Chip Sauce with another Jun... Are we black green here? We are black green. So this is a rock deck. Inquisition and Thought Seizes, Fatal Pushes and Trophies, and Pults. So you've got nine removal, six hand disruption, and threats. Graveyard Hate in the Scavenging Ooze. Um, card Advantage in Tireless Tracker and Liliana. And Dark Confidant. Black Green Rock. Jerry 020 with Mono Red Blitz. Yep, all we need to say there. Mono Red Blitz. Terminal Justice with Titan Shift. Uh, this is kind of an older traditional build with the four Dryads uh, as the update here and the Castle Garen Bricks, but this is more what Titan Shift used to be. Goblin King is playing Goblins. Hey, somebody whose deck matches their username. Thank you. Uh, different build. We got metallic mimics and grum gullies in this one. Definitely different than the last list. Um, yeah, uh, there's there's two or three different arc, uh, versions of the goblin deck worth trying out. Here's another one for you. Tuganaxos with oh, this is the black red uh, unearth deck. Um, I have not seen this do well in the preliminaries. But it keeps showing up in the leagues, so I don't know how hard people are trying with it. But um, if you want people to be playing off the top of their deck, and you think you're going to be better at it than they are, take a look at this deck. Um, yeah, it, it's trying for unearth value with the Skelemintals and Croxes and Regisars and Pyromancers. Um, trying to outvalue, outresource your opponent. 
interesting take on that approach here. But uh, yeah, fun deck. Shyar with a stone blade. This is very similar to what we saw earlier. Stone blade deck. Uh, probably enough differences in the mana base to uh, have both of them show up in the list. But yeah, another mono white stone blade. Rotobo with Living End. Living End it kind of disappeared for a bit. Looks like it's starting to come back a little bit. I did see it once or twice in the preliminaries, and uh, yeah, uh, it's always around, always around. Here's another Ponza build. Uh, four Molten Rains, four Pillages, so no Stone Rains in this one. Three Clothis, Renin Six, uh, Utopia Sprawl, no Blood Moons main, and no Magus of the Moons either. Um, so this is... So if we've got Zoo on the non-Ponza scale on one end, and the true Ponza Blood Moon tons of land destruction effects on the other this is about three quarters of the way there and the gruel monsters one we saw first early on is about one quarter of the way there and they're all on this scale of how badly do i hate my opponent's lands so uh lalo lalauba is he's he dislikes his opponent's lands but he doesn't quite hate them he's close though hugo freitas one with storm and this is not running into the Warrens in the main. So if you meddling mage their grape shot, they scoop game one. Uh, yeah, but then meddling mage humans isn't as popular as it used to be. So humans, if you weren't playing modern at the time, humans kind of got to where it was because storm was pretty strong at the time, and humans just destroy storm. Um, and yeah, that's so. It's it's opponent humans opponents now aren't as good as they used to be, so it's not as good as it used to be. Um, but this was one of the prime targets for the deck. Brando Brandophilus with traditional burn four skullcrack four boros charm four lightning helix. This does have an exquisite firecraft main, which is interesting. Uh, maybe he'd been using seeing. Um, a little more control than normal. But, uh, yeah. There's burn for you. Crazy Bayloth is not playing Bayloths. He's playing, is it Phoenix? Good to see this back, even with Thing in the Ice, too. That was a fun deck in the Faithless Looting days. I played a lot of this deck. Always on top is playing Death Shadow. Is this Grixis Shadow? Or is this Four Color? Green. This is Four Color Shadow. So, uh, yeah, this is this is the second most popular build lately, after Jund, um, with Grixis third and Mardu fourth. At least that's what I'm seeing in the preliminary results. Um, but all four builds are effective. So just, you know, spice to taste. Um, we've got Teamer Snow Control here. Or, I'm sorry, Bant. Bant Snow Control. So, Bant Snowblade had been a big thing on... on Magic Online over the last couple of weeks, there's been this build that has kind of split off from it, where it's taken out the Stone Blade package for a more controlly version of it. Um, but the rest of the deck is pretty much the same. So uh, preview in the uh, in the preliminaries video that I'm going to do tomorrow, uh, you will see Bant Snow Blade come down a little bit, and this deck show up there from the same roots. It's just, do you play the um, Stoneforge Mystic Package or not? And about a third of the players of this archetype are deciding not to. And so it probably plays differently, and it's, and it's worth calling out as a separate deck. Mutrol is playing Crabvine. Good old Crabvine. Let's do crazy stuff with our graveyard. Jace Finn's Prodigy in it. That's a new twist to it. Good to see. Martin Dominguez with Dredge. This is Dredge, and it's Dredge. It's always around. Pack your graveyard hate. Sorry, Aaron. Uh, Toast XP with Urosa. Uh, one of the top five or six decks in the format, probably. Um, this is pretty much the build that people have settled on. 
So you'll only see one, maybe two of it show up in the leagues. But you should see this every league because it is doing quite well in the, in the format. Tugging Axos again. Hey, he's back. This time with Infect. I think it's a heat. They're back. Um, with Infect this time. Uh, deck has not done well lately. Uh, it's fall, fallen out of favor. Um, but it's a Predator on Titan decks. So if you think Titan is going to be big in your meta, then this is a good, uh, a good choice for you. Mordekaiser with five color Niv Mizzet. And what do we got in this one? This one's got three Blood Braid Elf. Okay. Um, a lot of the more controlly builds of Niv Mizzet have gone away from Blood Braid Elf because the deck has really become mostly a control deck. And Blood Braid takes away some of your agency on what you play when. Um, since a lot of what you're going to cascade into is a sorcery or an instant. Um, but it looks like, except for Niv, Mizzet, and Bring to Light, and Supreme Verdict, everything else in here is a possible Blood Braid hit. So that could be good. Um, but Uro Clothis is a little bit of a new twist here. So that's a, that's a good thing to cascade into. That'd be a really good thing to cascade into. Um, fun deck. Love this deck. Uh, it has... It was my deck of choice in the fall of last year, before Pioneer came out. Arnek with 8 Pyro, 7 Pyro. Um, this is what Mardu Pyro has become. Is this Mardu? No, this is just Black-Red. What are your thoughts? Uh, I guess Mardu, because Smiting Helix does have the white in the... And we do have one Plains in the deck. So Mardu Pyro. Um, Jerry Thompson popularized this deck early, uh, two years ago now, I think. Um, and it had, it was good for a while. It's fallen off a little bit, but this is a build, uh, similar to what it looks like now. I think Season Pyromancer helped out a lot here. PP8 with a, uh, Devoted Druid combo deck. Three to fairies so that they can't interact you when you try to combo off. Um, this is a little postmortem lunge builds here are a little more all in on the combo. Um, but yeah, there you go. Phoenix is not playing Phoenix. He's playing a different devoted druid combo deck. This one with Heliod. Um, this is the green white Heliod druid combo deck. Uh, this was what everyone was afraid of when Heliod got spoiled, and five minutes later, everyone realized Walking Ballista's really, really good with it. Um, but this also gives you the Spike Feeder and Kitchen Finks Infinite Life combos. Um, I guess technically this is Obzon because of Viscerous Seer. Uh, so yeah, there, uh, there's another combo deck for you. Archgaze with Tron. This is Mono Blue Tron. Um, little obstructionist. There's no Mind Slaver. Uh, it's in the side. Okay, so you search it up with Karn. Got it. Uh, Sundering Titan Main. That's interesting. Sphinx of Foresight for a little more control over your filtering of your draws. Obstructionist to try to stop uh, activated abilities. Activated or triggered abilities. Uh, yeah. Mono Blue Tron. Abyss Bocci with Whir. We are. This is Demir Whir. Um, yeah. It's not a deck I am good at playing, so I can't speak to it much. But if you're looking for a Whir of Invention or a deck, here's a good one for you. And that's it for today. Uh, 71 decks. We had a bunch of cool stuff in this one. Elementals, a couple of goblin builds, this Golos deck at the beginning. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff to look at this time. Uh, good to see, uh, you know, 71 decks. I mean, that, that's, that's an incredibly wide format. And uh, nothing feels too overpowered in the format right now. Kind of like where Modern's at. 
So, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, definitely, if you like what I'm doing on here, uh, please like, subscribe, um, tell your friends, uh, retweet my tweets, etc. You can find me on Twitter at Proggyboog. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks a bunch, and we will see you tomorrow with the preliminaries metagame uh, update. Bye-bye.